Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of The Locker Room. I am your host. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Reggie. Now, listen, this is going to be a very good video, so be sure to stick around. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, listen, ladies and gentlemen, Kyrie Irving continues to dominate the headlines after he posted a link to a movie that the Jewish community found to be very offensive. <laughs> Now, me personally, I didn't really get into all that because guess what? I don't really care about anything Kyrie Irving posts to his social media accounts. I don't follow Kyrie Irving. I could care less. The only thing that I want to know is when the Brooklyn Nets are going to win an NBA championship. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do not let Kyrie Irving distract you from the fact that the Brooklyn Nets have been together for four years and have yet to make the Eastern Conference Finals, okay? Tim Legler went on ESPN earlier today, and these were his comments about the situation regarding Kyrie Irving, Joe Psy, and the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, all right, well, first, listen, there's a lot of layers to this story, right? So let's start with the Jalen Brown comments. I completely agree with you, Stephen A. When you look at the list of things that the Nets are asking him to do, there is no question that they are trying to now really stick it to Kyrie and make sure that there are so many conditions to it that, like you said, you're basically asking him to completely capitulate to, to the organization, right? That's what they're asking him to do. And, and look, make no mistake about it, I expect there to be an appeal because that's their job, right? The NBPA represents the players. That's their client. It's no different than like a criminal defense attorney. You're going to defend your client. That's what the NBPA should do. In almost every case, they're going to appeal it. So that's nothing crazy. And some people are criticizing the NBPA for taking that stance. I, I don't. That's their client. That's who they represent. They're going to do everything they can to try to mitigate what the Nets are asking Kyrie Irving to do. Having said all of that, I think the only reason Kyrie Irving is in this position, that they're asking so many things, is because of his reaction to Joe Tsai. Joe Tsai is the top of the food chain in the organization. And I think if Kyrie Irving has a major problem in how he handled this, it's because he did not give that man the respect he deserves. If he had handled that in the beginning, I do not think the Nets would be asking all of these conditions of Kyrie Irving. So you point out he brought it on himself. We both agree on that. We both also agree on this is a little bit extensive, what they're asking him to do, but he could have avoided it if he had just communicated with the owner. That's the guy that cuts the checks. And Kyrie Irving, I think, does not want to be accountable to anybody. Sometimes when you have wealth, you've got notoriety, you've got fame, you think you're not accountable to anybody. Well, that's not the way it works when you are in an organization. There are, there's a hierarchy there, and he has to answer to that man. And if he had just communicated with him, I think he could have avoided a lot of this. But now it's taken a turn, and we're going to see this is really a giant game of chicken. And they're trying to get Kyrie Irving to cave on this. And let's see how far he is willing to take this and how long he is willing to sit out, you know, trying to make sure he does not do the things that the Nets are asking him to do. But I think he could have avoided it if he hadn't disrespected Joe Tsai. So that's the other layer to this. It's their relationship and the disrespect that he showed the owner. And I think that's really what this is about on the part of the Nets. I think he could have gotten away with the apology that he issued and get back to playing basketball. But the fact that he didn't do a verbal apology and he did not communicate with the owner and repeatedly ignored him over a period of days has put him in this position now where they're going to make him extra accountable to the organization. And I really think that's what this well, is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, shout out to Tim Legler. He made some very, very good points. In my opinion, Kyrie Irving brought all of this on himself, just like Legs just stated. And listen, this is a job, right? Now, if your boss calls you and asks you to delete something off your social media, pretty much everybody in the real world would just go ahead and delete it and apologize if you were asked to apologize. For some strange reason, people on the internet seem to believe that Kyrie Irving is above the rules of the job that he is currently being employed with, and that is the Brooklyn Nets. Kyrie Irving is nothing but an employee, okay? So if you don't want to do what your boss tells you to do, ladies and gentlemen, there are going to be consequences. Now, like I said, in the real world, you probably would have just gotten fired, right? In the real world, Kyrie Irving would have been fired already, but this is the NBA. This is a show at this point, right? This is all for the cameras and this is all for show at this point because once again, like I told you guys before, the Brooklyn Nets are not a competitive basketball team, okay? Now, in my opinion also, this is payback for what Kyrie Irving has done to destroy the Brooklyn Nets franchise. If you guys remember, before Kyrie Irving showed up, 
This was a very, very good basketball team. I believe they made the playoffs with D'Angelo Russell, Karis LeVert, Jared Allen, those boys, right? Kyrie and KD show up, promise the Brooklyn Nets that they're going to at least be a competitive franchise and try to capture the team a championship. Ladies and gentlemen, they have not done that. And the Brooklyn Nets, the Brooklyn Nets are not happy about this situation. So this is their payback on Kyrie Irving. Remember when Kyrie Irving decided he wasn't gonna, gonna go to work for two weeks? Didn't call, didn't text anybody? This is payback. Jalen Brown is the vice president, I believe, of the Players Association, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this is what he had to say about the Kyrie Irving situation. He says, I don't believe Kyrie Irving is anti-Semitic. The terms for his return, they seem like a lot, and a lot of the players express discomfort with the terms. He made a mistake. He posted something. There was no distinction. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know, these were the terms for Kyrie Irving to be reinstated by the Brooklyn Nets, right? Um, he must apologize and condemn the movie. He must donate $500,000 to anti-hate causes. That is crazy. He must undergo sensitivity training. Anti-Semitic training, meet with the ADL, I have no idea what that is, <laughs> and meet with Joe Side to demonstrate understanding. Now, I got to be real with you guys. In my opinion, if you're going to make Kyrie Irving do all this, you might as well just cut him and, and, and be done with this whole situation. Kevin Durant has already requested a trade over the summer. You guys told him no. You wanted to bring him back, him and Kyrie, for whatever reason, I don't understand. The Brooklyn Nets are nothing but a toxic relationship at this point. They know that it's over. They just don't want to let it go. So Sean Marks, Joe Side, man, listen, you've already fired Steve Nash. Go ahead and make some calls for these two dweebs, Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. Try to get back as much as you can for them and go ahead and start the rebuilding process. This team is not going to win a championship. And it's literally just that simple. And I, oh. It's literally that simple. Quit wasting your time. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to get you guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about this situation? What should the Brooklyn Nets do? Should they just go ahead and get rid of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving? Or should they continue to have these two on the team causing unnecessary controversy? And guess what? At the end of it all, <laughs> you're going to get swept in the first round of the playoffs. Like I said, this just makes no sense to me. But you know what? Who am I? right who am i so that's pretty much all i got man for this episode i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one this was another installment of the locker room peace